Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome. Welcome if you're new here, welcome back if you're a current subscriber or seen my videos before. My name is Adriana, I am a personal trainer and here on my YouTube channel I go over some of my favorite meals I like to make, talk about PCOS, I do at home slash gym workouts as well. And today we're going to be making a sweet snack. It's going to be a chocolate covered coconut rice cake. Um, don't really have a name for it. It's just a sweet snack. Uh, one of my girlfriends actually introduced me to this recipe and I fell in love with it. And I think it's great because instead of going and getting a single cookie or anything, I could make something at home that is macro friendly and it does curb those cravings. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that today. Okay, so on my plate, I have three rice cakes and I'm using unsalted plain rice cakes. You can use salt ones, but this is the one that was available at the store, so that's what I got. We're gonna go ahead and use peanut butter as a base. This is the no stir, and this is not the crunchy one. Um, actually, it might be the crunchy one. No, no, it's not. <laughs> You could use a crunchy peanut butter if you like. You could also do this with almond butter, but I have peanut butter available. And what we want to do is spread it evenly and just do a thin coat over the rice cake. We don't want a huge glob of it on it. Come here. I should have gotten more peanut butter. I don't know why I didn't check. Ah, uh, come here. Come on, gotta give that another. I gotta get another mix. I'll break it apart. There we go. Again, you also don't want to apply too much pressure to the rice cake because it end up, could end up crumbling. Nice thin coat. Yeah, that one's gonna need a little bit more. I didn't grab enough. Doo -doo. This one has like a lot of holes in it, I'm not sure. It's a pretty bumpy rice cake. Could be just this brand. All right, perfect. We're gonna set these off to the side. So I'm gonna scoot this over here. Here I have dark chocolate chips. I have one third cup of it in here. And this is gonna be pretty simple. Have a knife to help stir with it. I'm gonna use the exact same knife that I'm gonna put some coconut oil in here. This is gonna help with the melting process. You only need a little bit of coconut oil, not too much, but a little scoop. Drop it in there. Kind of mix it in there. Put this knife here on the side, because again, we are gonna use it in a bit. Now, what we're gonna do is put these chocolate chips in the microwave for about a minute, minute and a half until they're softened enough to stir. So they're gonna be pretty much melted, but we're gonna stir until it's smooth. So I'll be right back when that's done. All right, we're back. It was in the microwave for a minute and a half. Like I said, we're gonna need this knife because what we're gonna do is mix it around. See, it's hot enough where it's melted. Again, this is dark chocolate. We're gonna bring back our rice cakes and be careful this bowl may be hot in this case it actually is gonna scoop some of that chocolate onto our rice cakes I'll put the extra onto the side see if we need it but we want to Smooth this out over the peanut butter. Try to cover it best as we can. All right, perfect. I'm gonna put this onto the side. 
Now for the touch, I have coconut flakes. This actually works really well too if you have like sliced almonds or your favorite type of nut as a topper. It's pretty simple. Look at that. All right, perfect. Now that we have the chocolate, the peanut butter, and the coconut flakes on top of our rice cakes, we're actually gonna go and put this in the freezer for at least 45 minutes so it freezes over. And once it's done, we're gonna go back and I'll show you the final result. Well, they've frozen over and they look absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to try these. Um, if you do make extra, so say you want to make a whole batch of these, I recommend keeping them in the freezer. That way you don't start melting away. And let's go in for this taste test. I've been having some sweet cravings lately, so this will do the trick. My soul is so happy right now. It tastes so good. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Ben and Jerry's half-baked ice cream. But again, it's so good. If you're having a sweet tooth, I highly recommend making these over buying yourself a bunch of cookies. These are, they are healthier, they're more macro-friendly, there's a higher amount of protein in them, and less sugar than you'd find in your traditional cookies. So again, highly recommend making it. And if you enjoy making this video, Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. That way you can keep up with future videos, especially now that I'm gonna be making a little bit, be making more uh, videos around like snacks and desserts because it's summer. We definitely want healthier alternatives than eating a whole bunch of ice cream and actual cookies. So <laughs> be making more of those as well as at home videos and talking more about PCOS. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and if you do make this recipe, drop it in the comments below how it went for you and what do you think if you enjoy it as much as I do. And I'm going to go ahead and eat the rest of these. See you in the next video.